all right so let us come to the extraction of metals high in the reactivity series like sodium calcium magnesium you no know, these these metals are higher in the reactivity series so they have a different method of extraction because what happens is that what we used to do in metals medium in the reactivity series is that we used to take an oxide like zinc oxide and we used to reduce it with carbon and then we used to get zinc and carbon monoxide so we used to take the oxide of the metal take carbon and uh, we used to reduce it with carbon to get the pure metal and carbon monoxide but in case of these metals what happens is that if you take suppose calcium oxide and you reduce it with carbon no reaction will take place because calcium and other metals like sodium and magnesium they have more affinity for oxygen than carbon so calcium actually likes to stay with oxygen rather than staying with carbon it does not like carbon like uh, uh, in in case of zinc it liked carbon more than oxygen it had more affinity for carbon than oxygen but in this case calcium is happy with oxygen and it does not want to react with carbon so that carbon can displace oxygen so this reaction does not take place so we we need a different method for extracting such metals and that is electrolysis now in electrolysis what we do is that we have a container and we have two plates the plates can be of anything in this case and it is connected to a battery this is the symbol for a battery this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal so the battery over here this is the positive terminal so the plate connected to this terminal will naturally acquire a positive charge and the plate connected to the negative terminal will acquire a negative charge and what we do is that we dip these plates in a solution and this solution is that of the metal chloride or it may be oxide so it's a it's basically a metal uh, ionic compound of that metal so what happens is that the metal in and this is in liquid form so in liquid form the ionic uh, salt will obviously dissociate into ions like if we have sodium chloride let us take sodium chloride in the uh, molten form it will form na plus and cl minus ions this is this is the molten form not the solid form and not even the um, aqueous form the molten form so we have na plus and cl minus so 
they are independently existing in the solution. So what will happen is that this Na plus, let me make it a little bit clear. This is Na plus. This Na plus will get attracted to this negatively charged plate and it will get deposited over here. And this Cl minus will get attracted to this positive charge plate and will get deposited over here. So what will happen that when Na plus will get deposited on this negatively charged plate, it will take an electron from the plate and it will form sodium metal and for this reason this plate is made up of sodium metal only so that from the solution more and more sodium metal gets deposited on the plate and we get more and more metal pure metal and over here in the positively charged plate the chlorine chlorine minus ion will release its electron and it will become chlorine gas. So this is basically what happens. Now this plate which is negatively charged is called the cathode and the plate which is positively charged is called the anode. Now there will be a lot of confusion regarding which one is cathode and which one is anode. So a simple way to determine this is that anode starts with an A and addition also starts with an A. So anode should be positive which is the symbol of addition. Just remember this that anode addition so positive and then automatically the cathode will become negative. But the thing is that this Na plus ion moves towards the cathode. So this Na plus ion is called a cation and the Cl minus ion moves towards the anode. So the Cl minus ion is called an anion. So in general what actually happened is that 